Well, Javier, I'll tell you what a game. Dodgers win it 5-2, to two, take three of the four in this series. And Julio Arias, I got to say, he needed some home cooking tonight. He definitely did, and he got it. Arias improved his record to 6-5, and five, down to a 4.76 ERA as he hurled six innings of two-run ball. Great dominant start from Arias, and he needed it against this uh, struggling Pirates offense that started off the year really hot but really tailed off in the middle of the season. And although it's been a bit of a struggle for Arias, he needed a good outing against a team like this to beat up a bit to improve his self-confidence, we'll see. And the Dodgers, I gotta say, their bats were pretty hot tonight. You had Freddie Freeman leading off in the sec in the uh, first inning, pardon me, with a, with a two-run homer. Uh, the Pirates came back with two of their own. And uh, then the Dodgers, Dodgers just took over offensively. Max Muncy with his with a 20th homer of the year, a two-run shot, and Freddie Freeman coming in uh, in the in the later innings with an RBI double to score yep. Mookie Betts. Mm -hmm. Great game, great game offensively by the guys. Um, Olivio for the Pirates, Ovio for the Pirates was uh, struggling a bit as he uh, downs his record to three and ten now, up his ERA to 4.75, and although he's struggling on the year. Um, it was definitely not the worst outing possible, only giving up four runs against this extremely powerful Dodger offense. So he can, he definitely shouldn't hang his head as much as you might think he was, although his uh, record might not show it and the statistics might not be phenomenal. He definitely had probably a pretty decent outing for a pitcher of his caliber against a team of this caliber like the Dodgers. And Alex Vesia coming in, in in the ninth. Uh, he's been out for a while, but gets, uh, retires the side in order. And, uh, but I, I can't talk about the relievers without talking about Nick Robertson and also Bruce Dark Rowder all before him. They were shut before down. Coming, uh, before uh, uh, Alex Messi came in the ninth. They were shut down. Arias was the only pitcher on the Dodgers who gave up any runs. They gave up two, so it was Vesio who got the saves. It was Graterol who came in and shut the Pirates' offense down for a little while, so it was able to maintain the lead that the Dodgers' offense was able to get them, and they kept expanding on that. So when Vesia came in in the ninth, it was clean, one, two, three, and the Dodgers were able to win a very stress-free game. So the Dodgers take three of four from this pi from the pirate squad, uh, and uh, they will host the Angels here for uh, two games, starting on uh, starting I believe tomorrow night, mm -hmm. tomorrow night, and then then comes the All Star break in Seattle. We look forward to it. So the Dodgers got a quick series against the Angels who are coming in. Um, the Angels are a team coming in a little bit battered up because Mike Trout had that uh, recent injury against the San Diego Padres in that game, as well as Shohei Otani exited his start. Mm -hmm. Anthony Rendon is on the IL as well, so it's pro per typical that we see an Angels team that is banged up. Um, and they're going to be coming into Dodger Stadium a little hurt, but of course the Dodgers games against the Angels are always exciting, so the Dodgers are going to have a couple games against the Angels before they head off to the All-Star break. Well, we're looking forward to that freeway series here starting on Friday night. And once again, the Dodgers beat the Pirates 5-2, to two, take 3-4. Three or four. For Javier Ardondo, Stephen Nelson, Oral Hershiser, Charlie Steiner, and Rick Monday, this is Andrew Lazat saying good night and goodbye from Dodger Stadium in Los Angeles. Once again, your final score, the Dodgers beat the Pirates 5-2. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you on Friday against the Angels. Until then, have a good night and so long, everybody.